What's up guys, it's John aka Bruce Lee. I want to show you guys my favorite fight of all time. I think this is the best trilogy in all of boxing history. Uh, and this is between Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward. I'll be commentating some of the fight, but overall, let's get into it. Look at all these punches. They're both so tough in this fight. Basically, Mickey Ward's strategy is usually to tire out his opponents, attack the body, and win in the later rounds. But Arturo Gotti was just as tough. Woo! Oh. Look at that. It's good body work. Really good body work. He's attacking those, that liver, that kidney over and over. Oh man, Arturo Gotti gives a one back to the body. Those body shots don't feel good, but they've been working. I guess both of their game plans to be able to take body shots here. Protect the head. They both think they have better body work than the other one. Oh. Oh, that cut. Mickey Ward is so tough in this. Definitely one of those guys that gave uh, Irish fighters like a good, uh, you know, such a tough name. This actually happened a lot in Arturo uh, Mickey Ward's fight. Excuse me, where he uh, he protects his face, takes a bunch of shots to the body, lets you tire yourself out, punch yourself out, and then he comes back strong. Oh. Ooh. It's like Arturo Gotti doesn't feel a pain, I swear. Oh. Oh, the. Oh. My stomach hurts just watching that. So just to stop there, super quick guys, that when you take a shot to the body like that, a lot of you know, your organs, they clench up and it feels like you just got kicked in the balls or something like that. But also what ends up happening a lot, you get hit in the ribs that like your lungs like tighten up so you can't like breathe in properly because uh, basically your organs, they're not sure if they've been punctured or not. So they just kind of squeeze tight to make sure they don't bleed out and it's an agonizing pain. Uh, and Mickey Ward stands up throughout. Let's see what else he's got. Ah. Just keep attacking the body, just keep digging those hooks in. They're both staying in so tight to do damage. They're both giving so much damage, but they're both taking so much damage. Oh, and Mickey Ward just walks forward. That nah, what a flurry. I think Arturo Gotti got a... Uh, he misread this, so usually Mickey Ward slows it down to dig in big power, but he switches up the speed a lot, and Arturo Gotti misread, as it ended up taking a bunch of damage. Oh. Look at that flurry of punches. I think you can't put them, that's the thing, they both think they can put each other away, but they can't. Oh. And Mickey Ward does a really good job of always attacking the body at the end or the middle of the combo. Like, no matter what, he makes sure he lands his best shot to the body. So notice a lot of his flurries, they'll go kind of head, body, head, body, head. But he makes sure that the strongest hit of the combo is typically that left hook to the body, which is a signature punch. Oh, he's having trouble dealing with the speed and tenacity. Oh, that cut's looking bad. Ah, uh, I forgot how brutal this fight is. That's why the highlights are like 10 minutes. Ooh, it's a really strong hook. But Mickey Ward, he steps back, but he's staying in there. And he just walks him back down. It's so tiring to fight somebody like this. He just keeps walking you down, pressuring you, 
and even when he's taking damage, he won't give you a break, right? Because if you let him walk in at you, you usually want to hit something back to make him go away, or you're going to let him cut, hit you, right? You don't want to get hit, but you're too tired to hit back, and uh, it's just tiring. It's, the, you know, it's suffocating, honestly. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Woo! Those constant left hooks to the body, no matter how tough you are. Like, that one wasn't even the strongest hook he took this match, but just the accumulation of damage to the same area. Mickey Ward does such a good job of uh, just picking that spot. And you see Arturo God is now, he keeps dropping his hand, he's dropping his elbow over and over now to protect that body because it's hurting so much. Woo! Mickey Ward's taking some, but he's just like, yeah, shrugging it off. I know it's hurting him too, though. It's hurting them both. Damn. Ugh. I think Mickey Ward did think he was going to win that fight there. So now that or, like, the Toro got his back and he's just as strong. Maybe he's stronger, you know? He wants to prove a point. Oh, man. I would not want to stand in front of Mickey, uh, in front of Toro Gotti like that. Just taking the hooks. Knowing that you can't get him off of you easily. Oh, man. I don't know how you take so many significant shots in the one fight. I'm getting a concussion just watching this. Oh, that body shot. They sound like rough, too. Just pow. Oh, Arturo got uh, yeah, Mickey. Uh, yeah, Arturo got. He still got some power here. Mickey Wars is just standing in front of him though, taking the power, taking the shots. Oh, that was a good one. Again, not the strongest one that he landed this fight. It just uh, like Arturo got didn't quite see it coming, and the accumulation of damage makes that so uh, spot like much more vulnerable. Oh, and his head is exposed because Arturo Gatti is protecting that body, right? At this point, he'd rather take it to the face than take more shots to the body. Oh, they're still going. It's round 10. They're still going at it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I would not want to be the judge for this fight. I can't really tell who's winning. I actually, I personally think Arturo Gatti won this fight. Uh, Mickey Ward did really good under pressure, but I think he overall let more damage through. And then I was his game plan, but still. Oh, it's almost 20 years ago this happened, and I think it's still such a classic. Mickey Ward gets the dub. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. One of the best fights I've ever seen growing up, and one of the reasons I actually got into boxing in the first place. So if you want to watch the full fight, it's Arturo Gatti, Mickey Ward. I was into their whole trilogy, but there's so many highlights in their three fights that it'd just be like a 40-minute video. So uh, highly recommend. It shows a great uh, like strategy, great toughness, great heart, really the soul of boxing I think is in this fight. And if you want to watch kind of like a movie adaptation of this, uh, Mark Wahlberg in that movie called The Fighter, he plays Mickey Ward, and I think he really brings Mickey Ward to life. Uh, the movie's well shot, the punches, the, the fight scenes are all very realistic, and the movie it, it just has a great story behind it. So uh, check it out guys if you want to, and uh, that's it for now. I'll catch you next time. Bruce Lee out.